go in. You dare me to hit it? Good morning. We are traveling pretty far today, and eh, not really far. We're just gonna really just travel all the way around the thumb today. But first, I gotta go pick up my buddy because he's gonna come with us, and we gotta gas up the car, and we need coffee. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. An hour and 14 minutes, so we're gonna get started. It's 9.03 right now, so by the time we get there, should be 10.17. See you in Caseville. We are actually super close to Caseville right now, and we found this place called Sandy Beach. You kinda get to look overview of everything. We came from pretty much that direction over there. Don't look too bad here. Yeah, no, this actually looks pretty cool. Nice. We decided just to do a quick stop. Um, we are going to go on some adventures of some pretty cool trails and other parks that we found on the way back home because Caseville is literally only like five minutes away from here. Looks like there used to be something there. Looks like they're still working on it, whatever they're doing here. Good news and bad news. We actually passed Caseville by accident. Totally did not mean to do that. We'll end up hitting Caseville on the way back. Uh, we literally drove straight through the town and then we were like, oh, we just left Caseville. However, we are at a different spot. Andrew, did you get the name of this? Uh, yeah, it's a Sleepers Park. Sleepers Park is now where we're at. We're gonna kind of take a walk through some of its trails to figure out if there's anything cool here. This actually isn't bad. Dude, I mean, it'd be too windy for us to go out there on the water anyways. The docks are getting hit pretty heavy with some waves over there. We're gonna just keep on checking spots from here and out. Like I said, the goal of the day is just to travel around the thumb and see what we can find. It kind of sucks and it's a shame that we missed Caseville by accident, but we thought Caseville was a little bit bigger. Uh, on to the next spot. Found another nature trail. It is called Wilderness Abortrum. Abortrum. I, I can't. I, that's a hard word to pronounce. Well, we don't know how to say it. Here goes the sign. Our board. No camping. All dogs must be leashed. Uh, looks like there's some flamingos here. Pink lady slipper, which I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, some fruit bats. Fruit bats? Yeah. What the heck are fruit bats? You don't know what a fruit bat is? I do not. Just, you know, they're big bats that just eat fruit. Oh. So they're not going to come out the sky and pick us up and fly away with us? No. Oh, okay. Well, I mean. Maybe. Just Maybe. Yourself, you know, you know, oh, I'm know. preparing, man. I'm preparing. Oh, look at that. A nice little map up here. I've never seen a colored map before on a... Uh, trail before it's actually the first for me too all right so they're behind the glass doesn't look like it's too long parking lot this is where we're at right here um 0.3 miles around this 0.22 miles all the way around so i think we can this is not even like more than two miles long as we're going through this trail a topic came up is there a such thing as bear spray i say there is yeah i but, mean they have shown it plenty of times on YouTube. And what does bear spray do though? Supposed to make them go blind for... Oh, so you actually sprayed the bear. I was thinking yeah. about like mosquito spray. I mean, it'll, it'll, <laughs> I mean, it'll fucking piss them off, but... So if you guys are ever shopping and see bear spray, please let me know. Cause I was thinking that it was like mosquito spray that you spray on yourself and it's repellent. <laughs> it works, but you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's fair. Another red pine tree. Ooh, hold on, wait a minute. Look at that. It's pretty cool. All that sap on there. It's not too much, but... 
Good tree. I do love pine trees, especially the red ones. So are maple trees the syrup tree? Yeah. Hmm. Dare you to hit it. We were just walking past this, guys. Oh, it's... <laughs> there, there's some in there, too. Oh, oh one, one just flew, flew in. in. You dare me to hit it? All right, let's get away before we get stung. <laughs> we probably shouldn't uh, mess with the... That's a big wasp nest, man. I don't if, you guys, guess. if you guys don't know any, I mean, if you guys don't know about the those those wasp ne nests back there, they'll 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 follow you. They'll chase after you for over a mile. So there's your exercise there for the day. A witch hazel tree, the little thin ones that are right there. I guess that's what it's called. We need to do more, you know, things like this before winter or. Oh yeah. Well, let's, the last three weeks, and I'm gonna apologize in advance right now because I haven't really posted a video in a long time, just because there was so much stuff going on that I had to take care of. The first day I had to go traveling, uh, my mom needed help, so I had to help her out. Uh, I think I had to take care of some yard stuff, a tree to cut down, yeah, and literally all, all on my days off because my work schedule is literally in the middle of the entire day. So I don't have time to do anything at all. Now since I got today off and tomorrow off, vlogging all day. You said we got another bench coming up? Yeah, yeah, it'll be, I think we're right here and the third bench is right there. And we're gonna have a bigger bridge coming up here pretty soon. Bird viewing, right, that sign said bird view, which, you know what? We should have bought uh, binoculars with us. Well, we didn't prepare, you know. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have enough time to careful this did we yeah it was kind of just all last minute thing like i was like yo we're traveling in the thumb okay let's go andrew got us lost i did i'm sorry i told him that like you know because five cuts straight over to like a hard left and we kept on going straight uh the ladies behind us were nice and all that that was like a way to the road so mm -hmm. we're just going to turn glad back around yeah glad they were there we could have probably saw something pretty cool yeah. But we're back on the right trail. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go right when we hit the sign. Found the bridge! Kind of already like this already. Ooh, this is nice. Ugh. I just walked into some cobwebs. <laughs> really? Well, I'm glad you're going first now. <laughs> you didn't bring your mosquito spray, did you? I did not. Oh, well, it's fine. Anything could be hiding in there. I'm about to go run through it real fast to find out. You know, I could possibly get the drone up right now. Good. First trail, amazing. We saw another beehive, but we didn't want to mess with it that time. I did. He he was going to stomp on it, but I'm just kidding. We're really friendly to nature, even if it's bees. Yeah. We're still very, very, very friendly, but we're going to go hit up the next stop now. Don't know where it's going to be. We're literally just Winging pointing it and going. Winging it, I guess, is the best way to put it. So, let's get going. This is the bird room. And it is huge. I might even need silverware. I mean, imagine. 